This is a swim bait insert mold that makes a half ounce lead insert for line through swim baits. I have tested it about three or four times now. Have not needed to respray the mold at all with release, but as you can see, the pins are starting to get bare already. A little bit of graphite blaster. Allows them to release easily from the insert. Well, relatively easily. Just lay them in. They're a tapered pin that are hand ground at a very small taper from tip to there, and then from there back, they're a constant diameter. They're not a perfectly tight fit in the mold, but they're close. You simply make sure that it's all going together good. Snug it up. Doesn't have to be super tight, just snug. Obviously when this mold is hot, it's kind of painful to the hands. You lay it up here. You lay it over like this so the pins don't fall out while you're doing your thing. Okay. Then you position it so that the uh, lead will go into the cavity very close to the pin but not on the pin. It's been setting here cooling for a few minutes while I was chasing down my cameraman, so I suspect one or two of the weights will not come out perfect like uh, when I first started and the mold was not hot. I'm only using the hex key because at this point it's starting to build some heat and it'll be uncomfortable to my hand. Now, you can do this however you like. Light tap on the pins. Not hard, because you don't want to damage or bend the pins. We'll drive them out, and many of them will now will pull out. Oh, we got four out of five, and the mold had started to cool. That's not too bad. Okay. At this point, the lead's still fairly hot, so I grab it with something that will protect my hand, and the pins will pull out fairly easily. That one is incomplete, so we'll just drop it in the dross bucket. can take one of these that's cooled and nick it with some diagonal cutters and yeah we now have a complete line through swim bait mold grab another one now this is dead soft lead so I suspect you might have slightly better luck if you were using wheel weights or something with some uh, roto metals hard lead alloyed into it. Um, but a little bit of cleanup on the uh, eye of the weight isn't bad. That's it. All right, we're going to do another pour real quick after having done the last one while the mold is still a little bit hotter. See if we can't get one that has all five come out perfect. I'm not hopeful, but one never knows. Oh, looks like I may be running low on lead in the pot. That one feels good. Uh-oh, got a cool breeze. That's going to cool the lead. We're not going to get a good pour. Okay, let's take a look. Never 
water hit them hard. Get the ones that come out easy out. Oh, it's getting hot now. Probably ought to be doing this with some leather gloves on, but I'm just testing this mold for somebody else. And all five of them came out good with a hotter mold. There we go.